Honorable Postmasters and guests, I'm honored to speak to you tonight. A few weeks ago, I was reading a book, and in the book it said, we live in a culture where you're not able to tell the truth. I thought, how sad. How sad. I think in some ways it's true, but I did want to talk to you about it tonight. I do have a hero who's known for speaking the truth. I don't think he knows about how I view him, but his name is Robert Datto. I don't know if you know him. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Robert Datto is a municipal finance expert for Oakland County. Now here's how speaking the truth can work for you. Robert Datto looks at the data, figures out what effect that's going to have on Oakland County's finances. If any of the local municipalities, and almost all of them do, want to know how that's going to be, they come to Bob, he fills them in. <clears throat> now just the opposite is the state of Michigan. Now they call Bob, he goes up there, he fills them in, and they ignore it. Now I'm fully convinced that the programmers and producers for most of our media and our political consultants have a view similar to what um, was expressed in the movie A Few Good Men. I don't know if any of you saw it, but in there, there's a line where he says something like this, you can't handle the truth! <laughs> and that's what they're thinking about you. They think the fluff will bring it to you. I hope it isn't. Now when I talk about fluff, I'm talking about meaningless statistic stuff like, I don't know if you knew this or not, 50%. 50% of all divorced people are women. <laughs> now that tells you where the problem is. <laughs> I did hear one that was kind of scary for my doctor. He recently put me on vitamin B. Now think about this. If you're over 55 and you don't take vitamin B, you will eventually die. <laughs> These are the kind of things that were fed so often. And it takes courage to go out and find the truth and speak the truth. And I would just encourage each one of you, you have to, when you listen to people, listen, what are they saying? There are some ants, for example, universals. Universals are like every, all, all the time, that kind of thing. I don't care if you listen to liberal or conservative talk radio. Listen to see if they are saying anything. Most of it is just anger and hype. That's what they're putting out there. Listen, when they say every one of them is a liar, ask yourself, every one of them? They're all thieves? Ask yourself, all of them? Thieves? We need to begin to think critically about what we're hearing. And for, the mountain, for many parts, they're not feeding us anything. It's all fluff. It's meaningless gibberish about people, about situations. You want to go in, I, I like what uh, Ronald Reagan said, and I thought it had a lot of meaning. Here's what one of the, his comments that I like. He said, every dollar the government spends, they take from someone who earned it. <laughs> Isn't that being a thief? Maybe. But those are the kind of things. Uh, Tony uh, Robbins has a statement that I really like. And I think it's a good starting point for a lot of stuff. And that's this. It's hard to argue with this. There will always be an outcome. <laughs> now, you laugh because it's so fundamental, but we need to think about that. So as you think about... Can you take the truth if what you want to hear is all fluff, there will be an outcome. When you think about the political process, I, I heard a speech recently where you know there were two or three of us went to a, a breakfast and the question was asked, what is your uh, 
a position on, uh, I want to say forced labor, but that's not it. In Michigan, it's right to work. Thank you. Thank you. It's right to work. So he asked him, what is your position on right to work? And, and this candidate said, well, we talked to the union, and we don't think that's the place to start. After the meeting, a couple of my friends were talking, and they said, he really didn't answer your question, did he? I said, yeah, he did. He talked to the union, he wants their votes, and he's not going to do anything about it. But we need to develop that acute sense of hearing so we know what it is that we're hearing. The other thing is, it takes courage. It takes courage to speak the truth in a way that people will understand it. Now, sometimes you can get carried away. Carried away is like this. Guys, if your wife comes up and says, does this skirt make my butt look big? <laughs> now, I don't know. But what they really mean is, I need some reassurance. So if you can make an intelligent decision about what do they really want here, then you can say to them, hey, you could wrap that in anything and it would be good. <laughs> <laughs> but, if you, but if you say, if you're trying to look like the back oh, of a Clydesdale, you've done it, your life is going to be miserable. For one. But in life, when we speak the truth with our heart and with passion, and it's in real situations, it helps those around us, it influences those around us, and we are able to change what's going on around us. You won't do it with fluff. 